Okay, next thing we need to talk about is ball position. Um, it's pretty important how we put these balls in front of our feet because it needs to match up with the formula that we just came out with. So if you'll take a look at this first ball, you can see it's in the front of my stance. Well, that actually hits the, the ball a little bit softer and comes out short of what you just calculated. If I play the ball more in the middle, well, that'll match up with exactly how I just walked off. And if I play the ball back in my stance, well, that will actually make the ball run two to three feet further. Uh, this is a great way to play this shot. It's pretty important that we get these ball positions in the right spot when we're using this formula. Okay, so let's recap. Um, let's talk about our setup. We want our feet open to the target. And when our swing is knee to knee. Make sure we do these things. Um, We've already done our formula. I walked out four steps to the landing zone, 16 steps to the pin. Divide that number into the 16, and that gives us a number four, which is designated for our eight iron. Uh, so now we're gonna do the ball positions, and the first one I'm gonna hit is from the neutral position, which is in the middle. So let's go ahead and hit that shot. Okay, so that's come out quite nicely going down that hill. Okay, so the next one we're gonna play back in our stance. So we should see this ball roll a little bit further. That rolled out nicely. Okay, and then our last shot with the ball forward in our setup. So this should come up a little bit short. Okay, so that was good grouping. And again, uh, it's important that we put the ball forward in our stance, also in the middle and also in the back if you wanna see how the ball changes as it rolls out. Um, okay, now the next step is I'm gonna show you how this formula is affected by just taking one step backwards. Um, so right now I'm sitting at four steps to my landing area. If I take one extra step back, that's gonna bring it to a number five. So five in the 16 goes three times and our number three is designated for our nine iron, so I need to switch clubs. So let's go over here, grab my trusty nine, and I'll take one step back from where I was. And so now the formula is a number three, which is our nine iron. Again, do our setup, our feet open, ball in the middle, and we're gonna swing knee to knee, and then hit our landing area. So here we go. Ball is rolling out nicely. So just that simple little change. That was a great chip. So just by taking that one extra step, changing the club, swinging knee to knee, you get great shots like that. Okay, so we used our nine iron on that last shot, which was five steps back from our landing area. So I'm gonna go up two steps, so one, two, and now it's three into 16, which gives us a five, and the five is designated for our seven iron. Okay, so let's hit that shot. Again, do our setup, feet open, knee to knee swing, hit our landing area. In our club, based on the formula, you can get great shots like that. Nice little chip in, maybe even a birdie or an eagle there.